In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation, and it's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, when we put this ammonium nitrate in water, ammonium compounds are very soluble. This will dissolve, split apart into its ions. Potassium hydroxide, strong base, that's going to be aqueous. When we have nitrates, almost always soluble. That'll be aqueous as well. We get to the ammonia here, it's a little bit difficult. Ammonia could be a gas or it could be dissolved in the water, aqueous. Either way, if it's a gas, we're not going to split it apart. If it's aqueous, we also don't split weak bases or weak electrolytes apart into their ions. So either way, if it's a gas, we won't split it apart. If it's aqueous, as a weak base, we don't split it apart. I'm going to call it a gas. doesn't much matter. Water is a liquid. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That will give us the complete ionic equation. This ammonium ion, the whole thing, has a 1 plus ionic charge. Good one to remember. So we have our ammonium ion. And I won't write the states now. Let's write those at the end. And then the whole nitrate ion is 1 minus. So we have NO3 minus. For potassium, that's in group 1 on the periodic table, has a 1 plus, the whole hydroxide 1 minus. So we have the potassium ion and the hydroxide ion. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have the plus and minus. So again, we have the potassium ion and a nitrate ion. And then we're not going to split this gas apart for the ammonia, which is NH3. And we don't split liquids apart either in net ionic equations. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we're going to cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So when I look, I see that I have NH4 plus here and NH3 here. They're different. I can't split that apart. But I do see in the reactants I have a nitrate ion and here in the products again. We can get rid of that. I have a potassium ion in the reactants and in the products. Get rid of that. Everything else is unique. And that makes the net ionic equation for NH4NO3 plus KOH. I'll clean this up, write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have this plus and minus. They give us a net charge of zero. And over here, everything's neutral, so the net charge is zero. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. For the ammonia, we said it's a gas, we didn't split it apart. If it was dissolved in water, if it was aqueous, because it's a weak base, it wouldn't split apart either. So instead of G, we just have AQ. So that's the difference there. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for NH4NO3 plus KOH. Thanks for watching.